Ryan Burnett wins a 12-round split decision over Lee Haskins to capture the IBF Bantamweight world title. First of all, let's get the obvious out of the way. The scorecard that had Lee Haskins winning was completely absurd. Robert Smith, who is the uh, the head honcho at the British Board of Boxing Control, said that that judge will never be working in the UK again. Was it uh, a terrible mistake where the judge got the name mi- get names mixed up on the scorecard, or was he actually watching a completely different fight to everybody else, or was there some corruption involved? Who knows? But what we do know is that scorecard was absurd because anybody who watched this fight will know that Ryan Burnett won the fight pretty comfortably. And the other judges' scorecards reflected that. The other judges had it 119-107 for Burnett. Actually, both of them, yeah. Both other judges had it 119-107 for Burnett. The one who had it for Haskins had it 118-108 for Haskins. Incredible. As for the fight itself, both men fought with a lot of pride, a lot of heart. They dug in. It was a tactical affair for the most part. It was scrappy in places. It was tough in places. Ryan Burnett was cut. You know, both guys were bloodied. There was a couple of knockdowns in the fight. Haskins was down... I think it was it round six he was down. I think round six and round 11. It looked as though, particularly in round 11, that the fight was over. I mean, even in round six, it was questionable as to whether Haskins would be able to carry on for too much longer. But very tough man, very prideful man. He managed to continue. You know, the thing about Haskins is that he's not really a big puncher. He's a very tricky guy, very awkward fighter. But not a banger. So when the points were piling up against him, it really got to the stage where it looked like he couldn't win the fight. And many other fighters and many other corners would have called it a day at that point. You know, many fighters would have retired on the, on their stool in the corner. The corners would have pulled them out, so on and so forth. Lee Haskins didn't want to go out like that. He never looked. Even after he was dropped, he never looked like a guy that wanted to be anywhere else other than in that boxing ring. He never looked like he felt sorry for himself. He was actually quite defiant at certain moments when he was getting lit up by Ryan Burnett. You know, he had had like a a look of determination on his face, like, I'm not going to let you do this to me. So, hats off to... Lee Haskins for showing that kind of heart and showing that kind of fighting spirit. Really trying to come thundering back at Ryan Burnett, but he just didn't have the firepower to make what he was doing count. Ryan Burnett proved to be the stronger fighter, the more skilled fighter, the more accurate sharpshooter, and the more versatile fighter. He wins his first world title at the age of 25. He's uh, from Northern Ireland, I believe. So he's uh, you know, Irish and British, I guess. And yeah, he's bringing boxing back to Ireland along with Carl Frampton, obviously. And uh, you know, this is one of Eddie Hearn's... Is he with Eddie Hearn? I know it was Eddie Hearn's show. I believe Ryan Burnett is with Eddie Hearn. So yeah, good win for him. Onwards and upwards, he marches. Let me know what you felt about the fight. How good do you think Ryan Burnett is? I mean, I remember a couple years ago when Adam Booth first started working with Ryan Burnett. He was very excited about him. He was saying that Ryan Burnett is the most talented fighter he's ever worked with. He said he can literally do everything. He can punch, he can move, he can box, he can do this, that and the other. He was very impressed and very enthused about working with Ryan Burnett. So, what do you think about Ryan Burnett? Is he as good as Adam Booth says he is? I mean, I'm sure the best is yet to come from him. He's still a young man. Still probably not quite in his prime yet. 
So he'll only grow and get better over the next couple of years. How good can he be? How good is he now? Who would you like to see him fight next? Can he move up through the weight classes? Drop it all in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel. It's Hatman, I'm out.